Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this week's edition of the Mob Love Podcast. It's number... What number is it, John? 63. We're getting there. What are we on? What is going to do for episode 69? I don't know. What will we do for episode 69, Paddy? I don't know. What are we going to do for episode 69? A live, I don't know. I'm asking. I don't know. A live podcast, 69. When is that? Six episodes away. Where are we going to do it? Where are we going to 69? Just no, on, on that table. Can we do it out the back of that? Sex shop in Castle Court. We can ask. Oh my god, that'd be so funny. Do you know who owns it? Nah, I, think it was, I, I think assumed you would. I thought it was a guy in Turf Lodge owned that originally, yeah. but I don't know if that's true or not. I've never seen a man come out of that shop who doesn't look fucking freaky. Right, okay. Do you know what I mean? So they all look freaky in yeah. Turf Lodge. No, well, yeah. yeah. Uh, do, you, do you know Turf Lodge? I do know Turf Lodge. We'll have to get you a gig in the Green Hut in Turf Lodge. <laughs> yeah. so. You gotta get me shot in Turf Lodge. The Green Hut or the Sticky Club. Because I think the other bar burnt down. Sorry, what the fuck is the Sticky Club? The Sticky Club in Turf Lodge. I know what you said. I don't know what it is. A sticky Club? I'll leave it for you to find out. So if you know club? what the Sticky Club is, can you send William a private message and let him know what the Sticky Club is? Am I gigging at a fucking orgy here? No. At a what? A, an orgy? Well, in a sense. <laughs> There's been orgies in it before. Like. <laughs> um, this week, we are sponsored, as always... Who by Patrick? Um, we're sponsored this week by uh, Sinn Féin and for all your United Ireland... Pro- I'm only joking. I was going to let you run with it. I wouldn't see how far you'd go. Yeah. Yeah, see, see what Sinn Féin fucking pay you. Yeah. <laughs> it's all voluntary, apparently. Uh, watch, me, watch me be a big prod until Sinn Féin start playing. I'd do this whole podcast now. What, what if Sinn Féin said to you, there's a thousand pound a week? Falcha to the Mob Love podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Would I you join say. Sinn Féin? I wouldn't, jo- I wouldn't join them. Why would you not join them? If they says there's a thousand pound a week to join us, I wouldn't, Fien, I wouldn't join any. Party. And all you have to do is just at the start of your set is say, it's Misha, William, Mac, Tom, um, right? McDonald's. Mac Tom. And just say, uh, I am sponsored by Sinn Féin. And then... Do I have to do a Jerry Adams impression the whole no, thing? But if the beard you made as well. Yeah, I made like, as well. Throw it in. I wouldn't join any political party. Do you know what I mean? I'm I thought you remember one. Do you think, what, do you think I was in TUV? No, I thought you were in, like, Alliance or something like that. Fuck off. No? No. No? Sorry, you're perfectly. Um, no, I wouldn't join any play. Like, here's the thing, I like Alliance, but have you ever seen the Alliance youth? <laughs> they deserve bullied, like. <laughs> they're lovely people, but they're fucking dweebs. Right, you know okay. what I mean? percent Do you know what I mean? I agree with them, and I'm like, these are all fucking nerds, like. Right, okay. <laughs> Are they all bug catchers and stuff like that? Uh, they're all like, they've got the like glasses on that make their eyes look really big and shit. And they're like, it's like, wash your hair, guys, if you want me to vote for you. Right, okay. Do you know what I mean? I haven't seen them, but I'll look out for them. Look, keep the look out for We them. don't tend to get many Alliance party wrapping our doors looking. Do you not? No. No? No. Is it where you live is pretty much vote all early, vote all often, that's the way it is? Yeah, not in a sense. Like, I mean, we would get other people around but PBP does well in your area the who? Yeah. PBP people, people for, for profit. profit do they deliver your they do pr- well in your area do they deliver are they are they like in a red and white fawn and deliver at your door they deliver no. results to the people do That's they what they do, do they? without right. profit okay. the I people don't. before profit yeah but we are sponsored as always by the wonderful Manscaped the Manscaped number- Manscaped Manscaped the one and only ball razor. All right, we'll tell you week in, week out. Some of you still aren't getting the message, so we'll have to tell you again. I think people know who Manscaped is, but I think people don't believe that it actually works. Uh, yeah. Trust me, yeah. it does exactly what it says in the tin. Yeah. And it's not wrong, see? Uh, it says shave your balls. It literally is a tool for cleaning up down below. Yeah. And I have tried to use the old fashioned razors, razors, Buzzers, everything prior to getting my Manscaped yeah. kit. Yeah. And I've either cut my balls or made a bollocks of them. Le- made, made a, a bollocks of your bollocks? Literally made a bollocks of my bollocks. Yeah. So technically, what I'm saying to you, and specifically, what I'm saying to you, like an ocean. I'm not biting. I'm not biting. Go and get Manscaped. And you know what? See, just because you listen to us and because you're associated with our podcast and you associated in the sense that. You're letting this wee bit of information go in your ears. And because we love you. 
And because we love you, and because they pay us each month, yeah. go and type in Manscape Mud Blood. Mud 20. Blood 20, and you will get 20% off all the products yeah. that they sell. So there's the lawnmower, the nose trimmer, the ball deodorant, the ball toner. You know it all. You know it all. But we will tell you week in, week out, because we want you all to be clean. We want you all to be happy. Manscaped, my blood 20. How are you this week, Patrick? I'm good. I'm, I'm going to have to sit back a little bit from the way because people have been telling me. That you're too loud and I'm, I'm too, too loud. You're, you're too loud and I'm too, too soft. Yeah, oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> Do you not agree with that? No. Is it the way they're listening to it? Maybe they're li- they're turning it up when William's on and they're turning it down when I'm on. I think it's the opposite. They're turning it down when I'm on and turning it up when you're on because they couldn't hear you loads. Right. And so, I'm... oh, right. So they're turning it up to listen to me. Yeah. And then when Turn you it come down on, you're like, squealing. Yeah. So they're having to do... Not even that. They're just and when they were up, they were up. And when it was down, it was down. Yeah. But when it was only halfway up, they they're could never... They're never up, they're down. Yeah. hear fuck all. Yeah. Yeah. So that's... Um, I'm just gonna have to try and be careful. I, I do. I listen to a few podcasts back, so I used to never listen them back. I am loud. I'm trying to manage my my vocal levels. Right. Do you know what I mean? It's because I, you know, what I mean, I don't have great hearing, and I grew what? up. I don't have great hearing, and I didn't grow. <laughs> and I grew up. I'm gonna ignore you. You fucking heard that already. I heard you. I heard you twice. <laughs> I was just gonna fucking steamroll through it. And I also grew up in a very loud family. Like everyone in my family speaks at this volume. What? Fuck off. <laughs> so I'm I'm trying to speak at a more radio friendly level. So you've gone from full Paisley outside the city hall, fucking baiting the yeah. fucking thing. Yep. Yeah. The, this is cool. Goes quiet at nine o'clock here with Paddy McDonald. Paddy, tell us about the time you, do you kicked a cool Protestant man to death. I did not do that. Have you not? No. Never kicked the Protestant man? Not to death. <laughs> <laughs> you I've, left him with a little bit kicked, of life left. I've definitely kicked a few Protestants before, but I've never kicked them to death. <laughs> How have you been this week, my friend? Oh, Even though that was such a shit radio laugh I just did. I literally <laughs> went, oh, I, not even, I literally just went, How's it going, kids? Ring in if you want to get on and tell you a joke. <laughs> I literally did Radio Wallster at 12 in the afternoon and went, <laughs> <laughs> Well done, kids, you've won your two tickets, the Artastic today. Yeah. Tell me what, Paolo, would you have for breakfast today? <laughs> you should open the place that does trampoline in and call it our spastic. <laughs> That's not even a pun. That's... <laughs> Not even you didn't even try to work that in cleverly. You just went our spastics. <laughs> what else can William open that if it just don't not go, much? I struggle with fucking boots. Huh? Don't go down that road, like no. Fit spastic in yeah, it's just gonna be you going. Instead of Barry's, it'll be Spastics. No, instead of mo- it, instead of mods, Spastics and Artastic. It's like it's, it's <laughs> it rains. Instead of mods, it'll be Spastic. <laughs> Bring out a bag of Haribo with your face on it. It'll be Tank Spastics. <laughs> I, I know your game, McDonald. I'm just saying, <laughs> you're, you're missing a trick there. I'm gonna take the Spastic brand, make it worldwide. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> Work me your strengths. Because <laughs> outside of listeners, this podcast, people don't like that word. And ironically, it's my lack of strength. Right, okay. Do you know what I mean? What is? The fact I'm a spastic. Yeah, but you have to, you have to, well, you're not a spastic. Technically, you're not a spastic. No, I am. Literally, the definition of a spastic. So you're telling me you're <laughs> definitely a spastic? Yeah. I am the, de- I am, what I have. So if somebody says to me, draw me a spastic, and I drew you. Yeah. If you could draw me, I'd be amazed by that. But yeah, draw I me. Can, draw. can you? Yeah. Can you draw? Yeah. Fuck, you're a multi-talented man. Can draw. Um, so if I drew you, and somebody says that there is a spastic, yeah, you wouldn't take offence. That. I mean, it wouldn't be like I'm like, why am I the first thing in your mind? But technically, no, but you're I am saying. One. Yeah, because what I have is called spastic hemiplegia. Right. I'm literally what the word spastic comes from. Not me, literally. I mean, the, what I have. You learn something new every day. I know. I've definitely I actually didn't this. even know where the name came from, like that term. The term spastic? Yeah. Yeah, because it comes from spasticity in the muscles, so anyone spasms, who... Spasms, yeah. Spasms and stuff, but also, like, lack of movement. Right. And I believe people are, it used to be called the Spastic Society. You can't call it that anymore. It's called Scope. That's what it was... I didn't make that up. There was a charity called the Spastic Society. 
It was like the Illuminati, but like me and my football team. He's really so, See, instead of having a special handshake, they just, yeah. just have a special shake. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, it was nice to meet you, man. It's me and Jordy Robinson fucking shaking up. He shakes too. Uh, he's not a spastic, though. He's just nervous. <laughs> No, he has a central tremor, I think, has his Central tremor. E.T. He yeah. has E.T. syndrome. What have you been up to this week, other than think the business is accurate? I, I took two weeks off. Literally really? took two weeks off. And then, so, we were hoping to get the passports in to go with the two youngest ones. They didn't come in, so we never got really anywhere apart from... Ah, like, bollocks. Going a wee bit. Why'd you leave it so late, you silly uh, bitch? I applied for them, like, March. Oh, fuck, it's that bad. So... Where were you? Where were you hoping to go? Well, we were thinking of going to America, so that didn't. Typical happen. Irish bastard. Why? Just leave him to go to America. Why? <laughs> were you gonna come home? No, well, if I had, I got a chance to get some free land. I got a horse and got <laughs> on my horse, and went. I was watching Far and Away the other night. <laughs> What's Far and Away? Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman. It was a movie they met each other on. I've never seen this. And it's uh, he is a just ordinary wee Irish boy who's dead. He was. Is it, a, a, is it a good Irish accent or is it like no. fucking Brad Pitt where he just he, is Do you know what? Tom Cruise wasn't too bad. Uh, neither was she, to be fair. Right. Oh, they were both Irish? They were both Irish. Right. So she was a, like a landowner's daughter and he was just somebody that was burnt off the land and then they went to America. But it's pretty good. Aye. I've, I've never seen that. Never seen that. But there's free land going. And if you get a horse, you can get some free land. <laughs> I'm trying to think. What's a movie that has the worst fucking accent ever? And I'm struggling to think of anything other than Snatch. I always found it weird that when they sent a robot back from the future in Terminator. I thought you meant in Snatch. I'm like, that's a different movie. Who thought it was a good idea to give the robot an Austrian accent? (laughs) I never thought about that. It ruins Terminator for me. Really? But he sounds robotic. You have been terminated. It'd be worse if he was like, you're being terminated. Could you imagine if the You have been terminated, you eat cunt. It would have worked. Yeah. It would have worked. No. A Belfast. A, a Belfast if Terminator. If the Terminator had been... Have been you pa- seen John Connor? No, no. Not not a smick. John Connor, you're not, what this? <laughs> not, not a smick. But if it had been like... Jerry Kelly's voice or I love how you went not a smack and you went with Jerry Kelly or what the fuck Ian you talking Beasley? <laughs> how would uh, could you imagine the Terminator Paisley Terminator son <laughs> the Pizzy Terminator went I have been sent back <laughs> to take you out you miserable bastard Sarah Connor you fucking whore <laughs> I need your bike your coat <laughs> and your sunglasses right now. I want to make a remake of Terminator. Like just a wee sketch with, with voice. you doing Paisley. <laughs> it just, it just, I was watching it again and I was like, what? why didn't they do the voice? Why didn't they? Because when he first came and he done you You're watching Terminator and going, why didn't they get Reverend Ian Paisley to play no, the Terminator? But why did they have <laughs> the an Austrian? Like, why was it like, this big high tech fucking robot that yeah. you can't defeat. You know, has the fucking red eyes, has the whole fucking thing, titanium, and the went, we'll give it an Austrian accent. Because he's built like a brick shit house. Have you seen the size of the fucker? That's why. Do you know what I mean? He's intimidating. He's and fucking you massive. Boots, your coat and your motorcycle. Yeah. And he's saying that while fucking curling. Do you know what I mean? The dude's huge. I know, but. They could have had something a wee bit more. Do you know what I mean that scene where the wee Terminator's walking out? Even his arse is ripped. <laughs> He's even got abs on his hole. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Could you imagine if the Terminator, if they made it nigh, he would be trans, <laughs> wouldn't he? <laughs> would he? It, well, he would have to. Is to go back in time to get his dick back? Is that what the whole story no, is? No, well, but still, but if they're making stuff now, like there has to be certain criteria that they have to meet. The Terminator mm. would be probably black and trans and disabled. That's the shittest robot ever, by the way. Why would it but make the, it disabled? The, the one they sent had an Austrian accent. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> yeah, but he's still really strong. And they were sent, they sent America, back a Terminator. But they were sending it back to America. Like, even the one that they were... Like, they sent the one back that was moulded. Like, the, the one that was liquid, right? Yeah. He had an American accent. So it's our language for liquid there? Yeah. 
You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, they didn't send him back with a fucking Mexican accent. He's like, hey, man, I want to get you, huh? <laughs> Have you seen this boy, huh? <laughs> but why would they send back a disabled Terminator? You don't want a Terminator no, defeated no, by a, stars. Then you have to think about it. Do you want film? an autistic As Terminator? I'm saying, nah, I'm I don't know how you feel. I have, to, I need your DLA car, you blue bitch. <laughs> but no, He's still Mexican? <laughs> fuck me. It, it's just when you think about it. But in film terms, yeah. You know, if they were remaking films now, they, they have to. They have to. Like fill, white chicks wouldn't get made now. I think white chicks would. I don't think If you would. did a race reversal of white chicks, it wouldn't get made. If you made black dudes and it's white that's girls. That's what I mean. Like, yeah. they have to remake things, they have to change it up a bit. Like, when they've done the new Karate Kid. Yeah. Karate Kid was Jaden Smith. He was a little black dude. He was a little black dude yeah. in China. Yeah, I I also haven't seen the first Karate Kid. I like that one. First one's class. Oh, everyone tells me that. First one's class. Um, Do you Mickey know what? Near Co- cried when I told him Cobra that? Kai is nothing like what Karate Kid was. Because I've seen thing. Cobra Kai and I'm like, no. it's all right, but it's, it's weird. Like, Cobra Kai is like the home and away of Karate Kid. It's fucking shit. Right. But just still watch it. Right, yeah, because it's like... But when I watched Karate Kid when I was a kid, it was like, fuck me, like, oh, amazing. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Like... So there's a lot of movies that were like, before my time, and everyone's like, they're amazing, and you're watching them, you're like, they're all right. Do you know what I mean? Like what? Like Goonies? Have you ever watched the Goonies? I love Goonies. Goonies is great. Right, so we disgust me not liking Forrest Gump. Back to the Future? Great, great film. Mm. I, just okay. cr- I haven't Indiana seen Karate Kid. Not... A huge fan, right? I think it's just because one of those, like, it was at the time a groundbreaking movie, do you know? And then so many movies have copied it that you're like, I've kind of seen what James this is. Bond. Weirdly, I'm not a huge James Bond fan, yeah. You really are, you're not, yeah. I'm not, I'm not, like, I kind of pretty, like, could you imagine the Irish James Bond? <laughs> what would the Irish James Bond, do? Bond, Seamus Bond? It's Jerry Adams' I'm bomb. sure to fill your crack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for, well, the one Irish guy saying he's working for MI5. How no, quickly like, would that cut the James shot? Bond. Would you like a drink? Yeah. What would you like? Guinness. No. Guinness. <laughs> he would be on that, what do you call it, Jäger Bomber? Aye. <laughs> Menace the Santex. <laughs> would he not be on some nice old harp? Give us, the camera. Give us, give us, give us a, give us a fuck and paint a Guinness, you can't, will you? <laughs> Martini shaking that sturdy I guess fucking it with fucking her and he wouldn't drive fucking fancy motors what would he drive a DLA car like the James Bond it would all be DLA cars yeah. DLA he, cars are like James Bond cars and he would that's he, correct yeah. he would <laughs> so you want to see him so you get brought in like, and there's like a guy who's like Q and he's like so William yeah. I'm showing you your new Nissan Duke yeah. this is the things it can do yeah. you can plug your phone directly into it and yeah. it talks to you you're yeah. like oh yeah. And this little button here gives you a camera, and you can see who's in your rear. <laughs> helps you. This here's a whistle you blow in this if you fall. This helps you reverse up to the bonfire when you're getting the pallets out of the back. Yeah. <laughs> I just love the idea you've you've just sat watching ITV two all day, watching all these old movies. No, like, I didn't even. What if he was Irish? What if he was Irish? <laughs> it's 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 just when you're watching things and you're going, fuck's sake, like if they went to all that trouble but he still had an Austrian accent, I just don't get that bit. Because he's fucking shredded, bro, that's the answer. Every movie rule he got was because he was ripped. The guy can Kindergarten cop. Because he's ripped. <laughs> because <laughs> no, he he's because he's ripped. That's the only film he doesn't have his fucking muscles in. Yeah, Put but he's still down. What? Put the cookie down. <laughs> it's not a tumor, you we can't it's you know what I mean he's still fucking massive behind the the uniform. What's your favourite movie of all time? Oh, no, that's, a, that. that's a question, no, that's a question. Um, It changes all the time. Okay. Inglorious okay. Bastards, I'm going to go right. with, just because it's in my head. Right, okay. Inglorious no, Bastards. for the first time this week. What? Shawshank Redemption. What would you think of it? Unreal. Yeah. Yeah, one of the best. I've what if he was Irish? Mm-hmm. What if he was what Irish? What if he was he Irish? He says he is Irish. Morgan Freeman says, isn't it, that he's Irish? But he's messing about. Like. <laughs> Morgan Freeman. The first time I laid my eyes on this rat man when he came into our prison. <laughs> Just Shawshank sent me a pitch block. I did not believe that this <laughs> yeah. man had committed crimes for the Irish Republic. I remember now, that. Now, see if you want to hear Morgan Freeman talk about the IRA. This isn't even a fucking joke. Go on to Netflix and look up the great jail skips. And he talks about the one where Jack Kelly was in. Yeah. And Bobby Story and all that. 
Morgan Freeman narrates it. I need to see this. This is genuinely Irish Shawshank Redemption. Yeah. It, it is. And it just came into my head when you say that, that I watched it. And it doesn't even feel right that it's Morgan Freeman. And he's like, so big bother story. And Jerry <laughs> Kelly decided, we're going to get the fuck out of here this jail. <laughs> I, Jim, I thought you were doing Nelson Mandela at the start. <laughs> well, Bobby, he did, he did Jerry the end, Kelly <laughs> had to escape the Ash Block prison. <laughs> well, he did, he did do Mandela, didn't he? Yes. And, uh, yes. What's that movie called? Invictus. Welcome to Mob Blood Reviews Movies. No, it wasn't called that. Was it Invictus? Invictus, yes. Morgan Freeman done, and you have to watch it, talking about the maze escape. I need to see that. I'm surprised, like, I was going to say I'm surprised there's not been more movies about the Troubles. There's been loads. I'm do surprised there, there hasn't be, been any Hollywood there, movies about specific things. Do you things. think they're maybe waiting until... in one of the most notorious prisons ever built in Europe. Fuck me. The accommodations are sparse. This is not some Victorian dungeon. This is 1980s Northern Ireland. Here we it's a prison it? built next to a British military base. Its name... The Maze. <laughs> <laughs> the Maze. The Maze. <laughs> It sounds like a game show when he's no, describing it. It, it, it actually it disappointed me a wee bit because I wanted it to be more like Shawshank, like, but yeah. it was fucking funny. Like, That's fucking welcome when, to the when he, when he does mention people that you technically know, he, you're sort of like, so big Jerry Kelly and Bobby Story. <laughs> <laughs> they were put into the prison. No, if, they I'm want going, to... Bob, if I'm talking about Nathan Mandela... I have to do the bars like that too. But they I'm, wanted political prisoner if rights. If I do Morgan Freeman's, I am for Morgan Freeman. Your your Mandela's better than your Freeman. I know it is. Yeah, and yeah. you do a great Mandela. <laughs> you do a fucking god awful Freeman. <laughs> I remember meeting Mandela and Paula Murphy one time, and he said to me, "What is the people in this place such so wankers?" But I thought you were going somewhere with that. No, no, just something in the head. You literally get distracted by your somebody, own phone. Somebody was sending me a fucking message of them lying on the beach and it was like, cunt. See um, your impressions? Would you sit and work on impressions? I, we probably should, I don't. What the do only one I can do is Yoshi from Mario. I mean, oh. no, the way dinosaur. Yoshi! That's all I can do. That's it. That's it! I, can, do you want to know? I, I know you would have done more when, like, a couple of years ago, you would have done, like, a wee bit of, like, Impressions for the set, no, like, no, I did. I used to do. I was probably well before even Williams then. Yeah. Do you uh, imagine Paisley was in your set? Yeah. Is, yeah. <laughs> is that that's Paisley ASMR? That Pais- is Paisley. Paisley with a whistle. Can I have Paisley ASMR? What's ASMR? <laughs> so ASMR is when you watch people do like quite boring tasks where they're concentrating or they're just like speaking very soft. To you, that's quite relaxing. So, Ian Paisley, people watch it like they go asleep, right? Yeah. So, Ian yeah. Paisley, uh, trying to get a thread into the needle, yeah, yeah. it'd be like the secret to us getting this fucking thread put on through this fucking tiny hole <laughs> and this fucking needle. This I fucking suck at all, it's clean <laughs> the thread, and then you find a fucking eye on the needle and you fucking push. Push and you push and still it's fucking her will that <laughs> I want Paisley SMR now. SMR. That's fucking good look. Um what were you saying before? I don't know. Fucking my mind I'm so so tired today, my mind is tired. blank. Tired. Why are you tired? I haven't slipped mit. Slipped? I haven't been slipping mit. Are you not you must need a haircut from in, Turkey's barber because now s- you're talking like me. I'm in some neck mate, can't get no sleep mate. How are you but they? can't get no sleep do you go to the Turkish barber I do go to the Turkish barber yeah does your Turkish barber talk like he's from Belfast only with a wee bit of accent nah they can't speak English at all so you fit right in I yeah yeah in what way do they speak like how do you communicate I just go up be like what was he clearing his throat yeah that's how they speak so there'll be like little paintings or little pictures on the wall I'll just be like give me, number, give me a number four like Is I'm getting the Chinese surprising where William's from there's paintings on the wall yeah <laughs> give me a King Billy 7 so King Billy with a skin feed you come in looking like David May yeah. <laughs> I'm 
Turn that guy to New York Ring fan. <laughs> fucking turkey sparrow whacker. Fucking pointed their own picture. Do you know what I mean? So that's, you just point to that and then they'll be like, and then give you a wee shave. How do they ask for the money from you? <laughs> Was that not the same as what do you want done? <laughs> <laughs> that's how it sounds. <laughs> Occasionally they'll just turn around to shout aggressively at each See, other and I'm not sure why. never once have shouted at me for doing a Turkish accent. Yeah. But if I do fucking Chinese or I do Indian, you go to me. <laughs> Why is it alright? No, Bernsey goes. One? No, because you're Chinese, one, because you do a wee thing with your eyes, and I don't know if you know that you're doing it, but you don't straight face do it. You you try to morph your face in the Chinese one. You have to change the no, look of yours. No, you, you don't. You have to change the expression in your face to get the actual voice. I did the. It's not like you're doing Chinese impressions, and I'm like, holy shit, Bruce Lee's in the room. You're doing like the most racist shit. <laughs> like what? Like what? What's so racist about saying like a Chinese man picking up the phone <laughs> to somebody who's ringing a Chinese He's man and asking only. for something? And what's he ask for? What? What's he ask for? Well, he's going to answer the phone by going, "Hello." And there we go. There we go. But that's not. That's how he's, That's how a Chinese man says "hello." He doesn't say "hello." You do. You get the ones that are they've been well, in the Lee, I'm wrong. For a bit. I'm wrong because Lee in the town in Belfast yeah. City Centre, yeah. who sails the tours, yeah. talks like one of us. I love him. I fucking love him because he still has a little Chinese inflection, but he has the Belfast accent. He, he completely turns it on and off. Yeah, for the tours. Yeah, yeah. How does he speak? Like, Paddy, you're a fucking fat cunt. <laughs> it's something that he said to me in playing. Fucking pure Belfast. And that tourist walks past. He's like, "Oh, no problem." He's like, "You come here to watch and see the moors. <laughs> yeah. I will show yeah. you." Oh Pat, are you fat bastard over here? We oh, it's a God. humble town. Yes. I what, do not get this wet or feed after twelve o'clock at night. <laughs> Paddy, watch out, fucking gremlins, you country. <laughs> gremlins. If it was set in Ireland, there we go. Gremlins. Yeah. It, would, it would just be a wee. Yeah, it's called Devis. It would just be a wee bunch of bonfire builders. No. Don't feed them off. Just be a bunch of wee monsters. Just be a monster. It would just be one. I'm going, Daryl, you're a wee cunt, so you are. Just be a wee bunch of monsters that breed like fuck and don't like water. So it's just devils. Does sound like fiends. Did you see that video? (laughs) Did you see that video? Yes. Oh my God. My dad sent my man a message the other day and she was like, where are you? And he says, I'm on the glinder. I actually wanted to be called the glinder now. It sounds so much better. Glinder the good witch. Yeah. yeah. I'm on the glinder on the way up. We just hopping around them once a glinder surprise. I got the glinder home. Fuck, it's so funny. Glinder. Me and my ma were in stitches. <laughs> we, me and my ma went till a play on Monday night, right? Had some update and whatever. And uh, I came out of it and my dad had sent a message and I was reading it out to my ma without actually looking what the contents was. And oh. I was like, well, Padraig, did your mummy have a good time? David Trimble's dead. Another like victim no of the blood curse. No, no fucking pause. It was literally yeah. just, is your mummy having a good time? David Trimble's dead. That's, people over 60 just love just giving you all the news in one sentence. Yeah, look. Is your mummy enjoying herself? David Trimble died. <laughs> just fucking, <laughs> just a, as a matter of fact. Also shout out to David Trimble. Rest in pussy. Rest in peace. I, I one time seen him dumping his bushes. A labyrinth? Labyrinth? Uh, no, no, elaborate. David Trimble, elaborate. David Trimble was like literally in the same dump as me at Twinbrook, dumping his bushes out of a trailer. And I thought it was the funniest thing ever. And I went over to say something, didn't realise that he still had security team because he used to be first member. Yeah, so he's going to have that always. Yeah, and I went over to slag him about his bushes. I was going over to say something like, "Ah uh-huh, ha, see you cut your faces up there, kid, and dumped them down to me. And uh, he had a security team. Your mum was like, get the fuck away. And I was like, okay. <laughs> Just want to slag him about the faces. Fuck, she's going to pull him out about his conifers, you know what I mean? Mm. But that's uh, that's another victim of the mob blood curse. We've killed many a man just by speaking about Sammy them. Kelly. Sammy Skelly. Well, you just call him Sammy Skelly. We call him Sammy Kelly. The man's dead. Let him be a prod in peace. I know. I know. Um, David Trimble. Who else have we killed? I mean, we haven't killed them. We just mention them and they die a week later. Well, it doesn't always be... Just Pierce Morgan, dying. Pierce Morgan, Pierce Morgan. It's about people, like, even losing their jobs. So, yeah. You know, yeah. Arlene Foster and yeah. all them different people are. 
It's just a lot of fuckers. We just, this is to get mentioned. Piers Morgan, Piers Morgan. Something happens to them. Piers I, Morgan. I hate that fucker. I hate yeah, that he's a cunt. fucker. He's a cunt, isn't he? Do you know what I mean? There's a difference between like being like a wee Weasley journalist and just he's an attention seeking fuck. I actually suspect him of becoming a politician one day. I don't no. I don't think he would, because no party would have him, because A's caused that much shit, and B, is there a more unlikable man on fucking planet Earth? Hugo I, Duncan. I'd vote for Hugo Duncan over Piers would Morgan. You? I don't know what election this would be, but I would vote for Hugo Duncan over Piers Morgan. Have you ever listened to Hugo Duncan's Republican music? I have not. It's Does funny. he have we Republican songs? We talked about this before. We have, but I, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Not a lot of celebrities here have went into politics. Mike so, Nesbitt. What? Mike Nesbitt. Oh, I, I read Mike Nesbitt. UUP leader. For some reason, when you said Mike Nesbitt, and I've met Mike Nesbitt a lot of times, but Jimmy Nesbitt came oh. in my head when you said that. I was thinking, do you want but, fucking Shazzy Shankle running And when for the you TV? said Jimmy Nesbitt, I heard Jimmy Heskett, and I was going with Daz, mate. Fuck <laughs> you. <laughs> Taxi <laughs> monitor. <isn't it? laughs> but, no, like, and then when you say Jimmy Heskett then Rob C. Nesbitt come in and I'm just going the more you say Heskett the more I'm thinking Heskey and like is Heskey running that? Heskey made a cunt out of you the weekend what did he do when he was like he put a picture up of me and Connor Burns and him in the PD and says out with Paddy McDonald and William Thompson fuck, fuck you Heskey it's funny though because you sent that into the group chat and I replied to tell every, Paddy Ralph to fuck up he told everybody that Connor was William Thompson <laughs> and did, any, did everyone know it was Burnsy or did anyone be like oh I love a podcast we man Burnsy was letting them know <laughs> what did Burnsy say? Who the fuck is this baldy bastard? He says. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck is this baldy Burnsy's bastard? Burnsy's a fucking poet, man. He I says, love Burnsy. Who the fuck is this baldy bastard? Him, he has he Who do you ask about? What's he do? He's tagging that. Well, fuck him, man. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> what was Burnsy like in the night out? Was he drinking? Yeah, he had about six pints. Hammered? No. No, come big man. I dropped him in the town. He went to Washington, met a couple of girls in the Washington. Where he went, he's got a fight on Friday for fuck's sake. McCon's not going back. Pants. Sure. He's he's that good. He can do that. That is. Do you think he'll win? I think he'll win. On. Yeah. Oh, Who's it he's fighting? Jared Pancake Face Healy. Where, who taught him what Pancake Face is? I don't know. Because he loves it. Oh, he loves it. He loves a wee Pancake Face. Snoop Robert off does. the rope. Come bit snow, snow off a rope. Pancake face. <laughs> uh, what are we on there, Sean? Do you know? Yeah, about half an hour. Didn't half we say hour. there was going to be a clock? Didn't we get told there was going to be a clock? At some stage there was going to be a clock, so uh, we knew. You stop saying clock. You <laughs> clock. Uh, stop speaking Turkish to me. Get your clock out for the boys. Oh, we've had enough conversations about clocks Get your today. clock out for the boys. We have, on our Patreon episode this week, we have um, Tommy McCarthy, isn't it? Sorry, my I'm very, Good nice on. Well, very, very funny guy but uh, it's just if you want to hear an Olympic boxer just talk about who has the biggest dicks head on over to the Patreon yeah do you know because that's all it was it was but uh, we'll take some questions because we're fucking loads from questions. the pa- questions from the Patreon members um, you get this all the time and I'll finally read it because it might stop Becky Patty would you rather buck William or Connor Burns in a life or death situation so gun to the head right me and, Bur- me and Burnsy were all dressed up all sexy. I've got some lace on. Why do you have to be sexy? Set with Because you're going to buck one of us. May as well make it easier for why you. Would it, why would it be sexy? Listen, to? I'm not making no, the rules. No, I get right? that, but you're adding to it here because nope. nobody says nope. you and Burnsy are in sexy gear. You added to that. No, you it's and right. Your life or death situation. I'm in. Fr- why didn't you just say, Paddy? The two of us are tied up against the fence, and you're made to do this. Right? No, we are we're tied up against the and fence. And there's a guy who has a gun to but your Burnsy's head. Burnsy's in full latex. I'm in wee high heel boots. Who are you going for? I like latex more than it. So you'd, you'd buck Burnsy over me? Fuck off! Not only would I buck him over you, I'd buck him on Tabby. That's, yeah, I, I'm, I've, you've never offended me more than telling me you'd rather buck Connor Burns than me. Yeah, I think What I would. the fuck is your problem? What? I would. I definitely would. You're stinking. Do you believe that? You'd latex. rather fuck Connor Burns over me? 
you really got annoyed with. Bastard. You really got Absolute annoyed Absolute bastard. After I stick on the wee lace for you and all, and you'd still run. exactly you'd why still I would Well, he's in full fucking latex. It would be like... Well, it's like, to me. It's like, it's <laughs> you're like, just watching in latex. It's like, you know, you stab my lipstick on and burns his neck, and you're going, why did you not kiss me? I'm wearing lipstick. Yeah, I've went I'm on like, the, I've I don't want to kiss any of you, but I'm definitely not going to kiss you because you went to a big bit of effort. Do you know what I mean? I want to look pretty for you, and you still wouldn't fuck me. That's you're, my point. You're a wanker, mate. Patty still... Did Paddy enjoy In the Name of the Sun and does he think William would have enjoyed it? Is, film. Is that the Jerry Conlon one? It's the, yeah, Jerry Conlon play, yeah. Oh, yeah, I've, I haven't seen the play. Yeah, I've seen the film. I've seen the, why is, uh, why is the movie In the Name of the Sun? Or well, obviously the they couldn't call it In the Name of the Father. It's not based off it? No, it's the same sort of story, but it's... Right, I almost, thought it was just, I thought no, the movie was the no, play. And no, the, the, that no, film. no. Um, unbelievable. Um, Andrew's uncle read the actual show. And then um, Tony Devlin, who should have Tony and Sean on, who Sean's Absolutely. the actor in it. Ah, like you watch people like Jim Carrey and stuff like that, they like, playing many parts. This this is a one man play for people to understand. Oh wow! This was a one man play, and this guy played every character in it. Right, every character. Oh, yeah, I need to see from that. Jerry Conlon, the Jerry Conlon's mate, the Johnny Dapp, Jack Nicholson, fucking Bruce why, Spring. Why the I mean, fuck are they in it? They're all in it because <laughs> it's a story I don't want to give too many away. Right, okay. To fucking the, the judge of this trial, he played every girlfriend, his it, sisters, his ma, his dad, he played every character, every person in the story was played by this one guy. And is it like, you, like, fuck, he's really good at multi-character? Yes. Like, like it would be this. like watching Jim Carrey do multiple characters. Yeah. And it was funny, it was sad, it was tear-jerking. It, it was just, f- for somebody to tell a story that way, it was fucking unbelievable. Uh, and I mean, like, a proper fucking, I was like, whoa. Like, and where'd you go see it? Was Labra House? Labra House, yeah. I'll need to check that out. That no, sounds really good. it's fucking unreal. Who'd That's, you go with, Andre? No, it took my mummy. Ah, very good. Did she enjoy it? She did. Good, good. Was she sad Tremble died after? What? Was she sad the Tremble died after? I think she was more sad that... Like, even though she knew Jerry was dead and she went to his funeral, but I think it was because she knew Jerry from years ago. Oh, did she know him personally? She knew him, so my dad did, so they both right. knew him. I growing see. up in the falls, but um, I think it was sad because she knew him. I, I see, I see. Fuck, that sounds... I do, I'm not even being sarcastic. No, genuinely, if you, if you haven't, get to see it. Um, Ryan Wade, do you guys have any hobbies you enjoy doing outside of stand-up? Watching kids. Going to elaborate on that? Or are you just going to let that be a clip? <laughs> I basically you, you, can't have hobbies because my hobby is raising my children. <laughs> which is babysitting your own kids. But you're not allowed to say babysitting your own kids. It's called doing your duty. Um, so just doing your duty? You're not going to war. You're looking after your kids. Although I've met your kids, so that's fair enough. Like going to war. We, uh, the youngest one's still my favourite just because of how fucking mental she is. Yeah. Not that I know any of them that well. It's just any time I see any of them, it's just her going, Bah! Yeah, I know. Mental. Mental. What do I like? To, do you know what? This has made me sad because I'm thinking about it. I don't um, think outside of stand up I do anything. Build bonfires. I don't even. That's what's that? Football. I don't even play football that much anymore. Um, um I, I don't have. You would play football. Bang finions. Writing. Yeah, banging finions and writing <coughs> stuff. That's all I really do. Listen to some music. I'll train, but that's not a hobby. That's just so choo, fucking choo. kill myself. Some somebody asked me, Patrick, uh, recently, what clubs you p- played for. In what? Gaelic and Hurling. Gaelic and Hurling. Um, probably best saying St. John, St. Teresa's and Common the Foshka and a brief, like, one match for St. Paul's, but the kids all play for St. Paul's. Sorry, yeah. can you hit me with that third one again? Common the Foshka. Common the Foshka. Common the Foshka. What's that mean? None of your fucking business. You don't know, do you? I do. What's it mean? You don't need to know. I'm just asking, just politely want to know what common my common fi- means. Common my fish club, club. means. Right? Right? Right. The fish club is, is the youth, isn't it? So common no, the youth? No, fish club is sparrows. Sparrows. <laughs> but it's not, You're Irish as fucking shit. But it's not, it's not. So, no, fish club is youth, no, isn't it? No, it's no, sparrows. No, but you have to know that this club wasn't known as the Sparrow Club. There was a different, <laughs> different meaning to it. <laughs> Your ex is fucking balls, mate. So is yours. I don't know, but I don't say I can speak it. Well, how do you know? You can't tell me. Because he just told me. I know, but in Irish things... So like Paddy used to play for Common My Fisca. Were you good for Common My Fisca? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. 
Um, I as far as <laughs> maybe, or is it another fucking bird? It might be larks or something. Well, it could have been larks, but it was more. Anyway, it's not the youth. It's a bird. No, but it, it was. The club was called the youth. There was yeah. two names to it. Not a doctor. Have you ever taken a prank too far? Not a doctor. That's just on Patreon. That's what his username is. Oh right. Yeah. I was going what part of that has to do. Um, have I ever took a prank too far? Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I imagine you do that on a daily fucking no, basis. No, not no more. You used to be really well for it. Yeah. Not knowing when to stop. Yeah. I'm not really a prank guy. I would take slaggings too far. Oh, to the point I really make upset people. Cry people. Or something, yeah. yeah. But I've done pranks. Are you the same yeah. as me when they get like I don't mind annoying them, but I've when done they start crying, and maybe I'm like, somebody <sighs> get hurt and all. So, what you do? How'd you hurt someone? No, I'm not gonna end it, but I'm just saying like I, I would have sometimes done it, and then people were like, "Fuck's sake, that's a bit right. too far, a bit too much." Huh. Uh, we didn't mean to hurt them, but yeah, I, don't know, I was never really. Our pranks always just involve someone getting fucking kicked in the balls. Right. You know, like every time. Be like, oh, we'll wait till the bell rings and then we'll hide under the desk and then he'll look around and we'll just kick him in the ball. Like every single one just involves someone getting kicked in the balls. We weren't really clever with our pranks. Mm. Any of you can remember at all? What? Pranks. We, sorry, I, um, Brace blocked up my mate's house when he got married and he was on his honeymoon. You did fucking what though? I breeze blocked up his front door and his windows in his house. So when he came home from honeymoon, he couldn't get into the house. <laughs> Why did you do that? Because I was pranking him. <laughs> and did he know it was you did it? Oh, because he would have pranked me too. Like, we and him were pretty. But his wife didn't see the funny side of it. No, no. 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 How long did it take him to get back in the house? Not that long the next day. Aye. With a can go hammer, like, but it was. The one next of them. day? Yeah, they, they came back at like 3 o'clock in the morning and just had to go and stay in her mask. I'd have fucking killed you. 3 in the morning, just back from the holiday. She room. was more annoyed with the stains and the and the tarmac out the front of the house. That because of all the fucking... Cement on it. <laughs> <laughs> did you do this by yourself or did you have help? No, oh, I, I paid a couple of brickies to go and do it. For me. You fucking paid brickies? <laughs> you paid people a day of employment? To just break up your mate's fucking house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and no one even questioned why you were doing it. They were just like, nah, a few hundred quid. the fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking amazing. Um, but it was good. I enjoyed that one. That's very, very uh, he, funny. He's, he actually funny laughed his bollocks off at it because he had done something to me that was quite fucking like... Annoying. That cunt would have took four wheels off my fan and left me stranded. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Had he done that too? Yeah, yeah, he done that one. That's fucking brilliant. I, I cracked up at that one because I think that's what made me do the, the blocking up the doors. And he also punched the head off the ice sculpture at my fucking wedding. As far as I remember, it may have been him. Was it just randomly just punched an ice sculpture in the fucking Walked head? Walked into the wedding, seen I had an ice sculpture, man. Fuck's he had to have an ice sculpture to the wedding, punched the head off it. You are a full con for having a nice sculpture at your wedding, like, but what's that cost you? A hundred book that I don't know. Oh, was that one of those ones the women? I just sort of said they do whatever you want to do. Aye. You know what I mean? When I seen them, I went. <laughs> and you were looking around, this is why we don't have nice things, because we will punch heads off ice sculptures. Yeah, man, I knew. I, I When I seen them, I went, one of my mates will do something to that. Yeah. You know? So he just fucking uppercuts it. I love that. Jason Rice, not a question, but lads, love the podcast. Blasted through all of them in less than two weeks after seeing you both on other boys' podcasts. Near crashed the motor on the way to work one day. Why can't I read? Near crashed the motor on the way to work one day. Laugh my bollocks off at it. Keep up the good work. Cheers. Thank you very much, Jason. Yes, thanks, Jason. Not really a question. Just It's just nice. That Jason, Rice. Oh, Jason, Jason Rice. Jason Rice is really nice. Jason Rice is really nice. Are you just going to slowly turn Chinese through each more episode? Jason and Les. See, when you have a name like Race, you have to be careful what you name your kids, you know? Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like, you couldn't call one of your kids Pat. Pat Rice? Do you know what I mean? Am I stupid? Pat Rice? Yeah. Patrice? No, Pat Rice. Like, Pat Noodle, Pat Rice, you know what I mean? It's just like, there was an Pat accent. Pat Rice is not a thing. No, there used to be Pat Rice's. 
Obviously, you never seen. I've it. never had. Pat Noodle had brought out a race version before. Right, I didn't. It's know called it. Pat Race. I didn't know it. I thought you were making a pun. No, I was no, like, no, I just no, don't no. Fucking I'm get just it. saying, like, uh, if I, he had a daughter called Jasmine, I mean, I if my last name was Rice, I'd call her Jasmine. Jasmine Rice or Fred. Yeah, that's our Fred. That's where we. That's my wee man, Egg Fred. Or Egg Fred Rice. What? Basmatic. Basmatic. Lee Carroll, what's the biggest misconception about Northern Ireland or Northern Irish people? I feel we're going to have different answers here. I kind of know what yours is going to be. You know what mine is? Yeah. Yours is going to be that there's a Northern Ireland. No. Misconception? Yeah. That we're all, like... That we're violent. <laughs> we can be. No, we can no, be. No, we are violent. We're aggressive, but we're not always fucking psychopaths. We like to, we like to play it up. We do. We like to play it up how mad we are. Especially when we're in another country and be like, fucking back home, he'd be fucking sorted out. No, we're not that bad. We're not that. We're not as bad as we make ourselves out. You might be. You might be that bad, but most of us aren't that bad. Right, okay. What would you say it is? William, you're from East Belfast. Yeah. There was a guy over there, Shadow's fiance. What? Like, kneecap there. Do you think he's the only one in the world that's ever fucking done that? I mean, people no, shoot their wives all the time. you can't say that we're not violent. I didn't say we're not violent at all. We're not as men, we're not as violent as we make ourselves out to be. We like to play it up the scar tourists. Like, you know I mean? it's, it's also the hang of, like, see when you see, like, somebody on a comedy show doing, like, an impersonation of somebody from here, they're always just It's doing, always like, get to the car. You know it's I mean? a Paisley fucking impersonation. Yeah. So they think everybody from here is like that, and that we all talk, you know, yeah. Dead aggressive. That's always like the English guy joke about being in Northern Ireland. It's like, oh, you're very threatening. Do you know what I mean? And we like to play up how threatening we are, is what I'm saying. Do you know what I mean? Yes, like, always somebody will go, I break his fucking. Leg. Like, everybody I know who says, Tell me now, see if I'd cunt on that, my kids. See if that was my wee girl on the fucking bus, I'd knock her cunt in. That is the way we talk. So yeah. when people think we're threat, it's because we talk about fucking yeah, violence that's on a daily basis. We talk about it, but we, we're rarely that bad. We like to play it up. I don't think so. I think we do. I think we are violent. I don't think we're that violent. I, I think, think we're violent, but we're not as bad as we make ourselves. Right, okay. Do you know what I mean? Right. We're not like Brazil. We're, we're not iron. There we go. I've got two minute argument was worth that. <laughs> Amazing was it a wee prod started that do feelings after it? <laughs> Is that where that comes from? Is it talking about the gun crime? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just Jerry Allen standing up going, we're Well, not, uh, we're not necessarily Brazil. We're we're north of Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Kevin McDonald, if you found out where Martin McGartland lived, would you keep it to yourself? That assumes I'd have no one to tell. Is he the guy from Fifty Dead Men Running? Let's just say I could possibly go into my tippy and fucking order a cheesy chip and go, Mark McCartland lives there in fucking such and such and such and such. I thought you were going to say Mark McCartland's working in your chippy. He was a fucking wild head. Really? Wild head. Why was he a wild Do you know him? No. Like, personally, but or I mean, just know all of him? When you, I used to listen to radio programs when he was in talking and he made himself out to be like fucking Rambo. Like. Yeah. I, I, I don't... Do you know I've only seen the movie. That's all I've seen. So what would he say... When he's on these shows. He's like, you no idea how hard it was for me to fucking get out and out and all that shit. He made it out that he was like dodging bullets Aye. running out of Belfast, but that technically didn't happen. Do you just not like him because he's a tout? No. Well, possibly. <laughs> no one likes a tout, William. That's, I'll agree with it. I'll agree with it. And that's a, like a universal thing here. Touts will be shoot. Yeah, that is, that's a universal thing across the world. No one likes a fucking Nobody sash. likes a tout. No one likes a tout. No one likes a sash, did you say? No, we love the sash. We don't like touts. Um, where'd he flee to? Canon? Probably fucking Gervin, for fuck's sake. Where the fuck is Gervin? Outside fucking Troon. <laughs> probably the probably uh, the Catholic of equivalent of where Johnny Durr went. Oh, fuckers, Johnny gonna fucking die now. <laughs> Martin McGarland and, Jerry and fucking... Johnny Adair will die this week now because we've mentioned him. Uh, we didn't mention Johnny Adair until you just said the words Johnny Adair will die. No, but I'm just saying. Like, <laughs> we mentioned Sam Scally and David Tribble and the fucking died. I know. 
We'll mention Martin McGartland and thing next minute. If Martin McGartland dies, I'm convinced. If we're Martin Roger. McGartland dies and is found land next to Johnny Adair dead, then we are in fucking serious trouble. We need to start threatening people then, being like, if you no, do, but we we'll have tried we this before because we said about Prince Andrew and he didn't die. Nah, he did get COVID though, so that's the same thing, I suppose. Oh man, that's who you would definitely want to die like. <laughs> yeah, what a cunt. I want them to see justice before he dies. He never will, but I want. Is she a sixteen-year-old? <laughs> Have you seen our justice? Mm. Uh, it wouldn't be. Fucking it does sound like a Protestant name. It wouldn't it? be fucking a sixteen That's year old. That's me, uh, Justice uh, yeah. McElroy. That's just, just me, Justice Smith. <laughs> it's lovely. Justice. Fourteen as well. Sounds like a fucking. Fourteen, judge. which is developed. What's I? Sounds like a judge. Me, Justice. Justice Smith. Justice Smith. Uh, Kieran McGuire's suggestion: Paddy needs to be in William of Orangedale as a black taxi man who sells cheap figs. Honestly, we will get Janet. My God, it like, gets up. If I can, I'll get Janet. Um, I can't speak about it on here, and you, I'll tell you after. Right. Um, but if it gets made, fuck me, I'll get you on it. My God. Um, because people keep saying, like, "Why didn't you get party on it?" I fucking, I wanted a minute, like. William trying he to just, get He just can't act. this shit. <laughs> I, went, I, I, I gave him multiple chances. He <laughs> 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 actually drew up like three parts for me. And... <laughs> he fucked every one of them, but I... we'll get him in. My God, we'll get you in. They'll get me in as Paddy McDonald because that's probably the <laughs> only way Paddy you could McConnell? do it. They'll, they'll get I would name Paddy. your character Paddy McConnell. No, just but the just, fuck with you. you should put me in as Paddy McDonald where, and they probably still would get somebody else to play me. <laughs> Wouldn't it? I, like have a comedy night in a fucking dodgy bar in it. Yeah. You know, like the knee breakers. And they'll get... And, <laughs> and have Paddy McDonald. We'll get Tommy on, McCarthy to play. And they'll get fucking I <laughs> Tommy McCarthy to play me. And like... <laughs> I feel, William, sorry, but this Paddy McDonald comedian guy, I feel that he would be a black uh, boxer from West Belfast. <laughs> no, it's technically this guy that, yeah, he came in and he read for us. He just doesn't fit yeah. Paddy McDonald's thing here. Yeah. Oh, even though there's like roles that are like Was it that, was it that bad? Was it that bad? No, no. You were close. You can't just say it. Like, I would say, and I, I would tell you, you were close. Um, But... It's not up to me. That's what people don't get. People think I just pick who I want. It's not up to you. Like, I had to audition three fucking times. Do you know what I mean? For, for William Foster. To play fuck. myself. <laughs> it's hard to do. I don't know about him. Yeah. Um, we were in a wee BBC thing during the week. Are we allowed to speak about that? No. No, I we're not. Nothing to talk about. Tough, I'm speaking about it. Um, okay. Do you enjoy it? <laughs> And uh, it took me a while to wash the taste of the dicks out of my mouth after the stand-up set I did, but after we were all good. Yeah, but the second dick? No, it was awful. I mean, I ate dick you on stage. You were not that oh. bad. You were not that bad, I'm telling you now. It you were not rough as shit. I see, man, the sandy, you, you weren't. I was, like, panicking for you when I... When I knew what was happening and what you were doing, I was like, oh, oh. Yeah. But it's, in saying that, it wasn't. It really wasn't. Right. I also had the bullet of going on first because I lost a coin toss with the owner. And because uh, uh, we were, I didn't want to go on first, she didn't want to go on first. We we're like, we'll do a coin toss, make it fair, and then we did it. And I was like, fuck sake, I should have just refused. It's not the first time you've had a toss with Tiona. It absolutely is the first time <laughs> I've had a toss with Tiona. Oh, I thought you had flipped a coin with her before. No, no, never, never done that. Lloyd, there's did a celebrity. You heads or tails? Always head. Lloyd, there's a celebrity boxing night, and the fights are the following. Colin Geddes versus Dave Elliott, Aaron McCann versus Mickey Bartlett, Paddy McDonald, Connor Keyes, Aaron Butler, Shane Todd, William Thompson, Roy Woods, Dr. Bartlett versus Steve. I Lindman. would knock Connor fucking Keyes clean fucking mm, out. That's the one I don't know. I would knock him. I will knock him in clean. In a boxing match? I, even in the street, I would knock him clean. No, but it's not in the street. It's but a- even in the ring. I mean, in the yeah. ring would be worse. I would fucking knock his content. He is an Xboxer too. No, and he's got the no, height and weight advantage no, over no, you. No, no, no. He's not... He, he there was nobody to fight him. He got the medal. There was nobody to fight. Him. I would not Connor. Look, I'm fucking being deadly serious here with you. Connor Keys, pancake face. Listen you here. are turning in full burns here, like. Listen here, Connor Keys, you fucking pancake face, rubber nose, oh my bastard. I will knock your bollocks in. <laughs> what about Gaddis and Elliot? Gaddis would have Dave, I think. I'd knock a both of them out. Well, it's not. It's not who would you win in this fight. You're not in all the fights. Connor, <laughs> um, Gaddis and Elliot. Gaddis, Gaddis. Would knock fucking Elliot. McCann and Mickey. 
I couldn't think of a worse fight I, in the I, world. I, I, do you know what? McCann. No, I think Mickey would fucking. I think everybody puts Mickey down. I think Mickey would fucking punch when he needs to. He's a wee bit of West Belfast in him. So you go Mickey? Oh, I'd, I'd go, go McCann. I'd go McCann. Aaron Butler versus Shane Todd. Shane Todd Shane, knock his Shane. Butler would cry, I think, if he got hit. Probably. Yeah. Thompson versus Woods. Would you? I'd back myself on that one. Would you? I'd back myself. Would you knock your cunt in? Would you can feel like fuck? And I can't. Tommy, I can't. I'm just saying, Woods, you can feel like <laughs> fuck. I can fight like fuck too, you know what I mean? <laughs> Stephen Nolan would definitely knock Cairns bollocks in. Do they, he'd sue him anyway. Stephen Nolan would knock Cairns bollocks in. No, he wouldn't. He's bigger hands on him. He would knock his cunt in. <laughs> Kieran hitting you would be like somebody throwing tic tacs at your face. And it'd be a fight in these within thirty seconds, like what? Well, it would like we yeah. tiny like somebody getting a wee toy doll and going tick, 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 in your face. I think Kieran would have him. No chance. Yeah, I think so. Big big Nolan would knock this content. No, I'm annoyed you think Woodsy would beat me. Fuck you. No, definitely. You're full of shit. Kirsty McLaughlin, does Paddy want to do any gigs at the, do you want to do a gig at Glen Owen at any point? Listen. As I fucking have said, I know the people know. that this have rang me and people that sent me messages, my booking is done with. It's on my fucking bio on every social media I have. Joe at ts fucking dot com or whatever the fuck it is. Contact Joe. Yeah. And ask him to. They says that they contact him and they didn't get back. I don't know. You're doing the gig, I think. I am doing the gig. Later right. on. We'll see how it goes. I'll let you know how it is. Yeah. Um. We'll finish up on this. Aaron Conley, if you had to eat one dinner until the day you died, what would it be? Yours. Aaron Conley's. Just whatever Aaron Conley's eating. I'd eat his dinner. So until if he's I having die. a shite sandwich, you'll have it? I'd eat whatever his dinner is every fucking his day until dinner's I die. 40 dicks. I don't give a fuck what his dinner is. I'm eating it to stop him having it. Fair enough. Fair so enough. he'd be dead very quickly. Bolognese. Bolognese are carbon hour for me. What, if you were eating one dinner? Yeah. I like an old lasagna chips. You also like. Chicken with peppers, onions, uh, and savoury rice. So you have to think, yeah, that would probably be better because you have to think every day if you were having lasagna so chips every day, you'd you. die yeah. at 35 and you're 43. You'd die at 35, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, so probably probably chicken and rice. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for your tantalising questions of what would we eat. So if people want to book Paddy, you have to do it through his agent because he's Mr. Fucking Hollywood now. No, it's not. It's just... And you, you can't call way. him Paddy McConnell because he'll throw we'll a put strap. This out. We done a gig for the bookshop in the arts, and we're still having to pay it. Cut that because the pen is tomorrow. Well, there you go. We to pay this. Don't That's slag my them. point. If they haven't paid us by next week, we can do that. My point is, sometimes you, you, you don't have an agent to do this booking for you, and you're waiting. And you, don't get me wrong, there's gigs my agent has got me, and I still haven't got paid for. I'm not saying that, but yeah. I'm just saying. There's a typical example. I'm waiting you, on about two grand. You were doing. Like I am waiting on a hell of a lot more of that. Yeah. Oh fuck. All right. Deck measure. But it's not deck measure. I'm just saying. <laughs> the, I've already no, I know. Yet. I know. We've and it's just about. like it's one of them ones. So whenever I'm just doing the bookings through the end, because sometimes I book something and they book something on the same night, and then the next minute they go, "What do you mean you fucking took a gig in the fucking Glen Owen for 180 quid?" Yeah. And I go, "Fuck! Why? What have you got?" And they go, "Fuck! We have a fucking thing for you here, and it's fucking blah 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 blah. A hell of a lot more money than that." Yeah. And we've booked it, and you're like, oh, fuck, and then you have to go back and let somebody Say, down. Yeah. So, so you have to book Paddy through his agent. Me, just message me. Just message me with a wee nice message. Will, William will you. do a gig on your cock. For the right price, yeah. Oh, sorry, boat. I meant to say boat. Oh, cock. Fine. So. Yeah, so thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Our tours are on sale at the minute on shine.net. When's this quit? Friday. We have a big announcement to make on Monday. Dickheads. So Why are you holding that director's board like it's a fucking cleaver? We have a big announcement Monday. Um, so keep fucking paid for Monday. Yeah, big announcement Monday. I don't even know what it is. See you, see you next week, guys. Bye. Bye.